Today we're we'll talking about springs. Here are some of the most common springs that are used. We have regular K-series springs that are most common in most blasters that you find. Talon claws and caliburns will use the K-series springs. However, we're also going to talk about aftermarket springs such as turf blaster springs and long shot springs. The regular springs that are most common are usually not rated for the amount of compression cycles that we use in Nerf and so they will wear out over time. We have different kinds of springs though that are give you a smoother prime, they stack nicer together, they maintain their power for longer and they are more aesthetically pleasing as well. That's the idea behind these springs. They perform more reliably and more consistently over a longer period of time. It's just most people don't understand how to get compatibility between the springs because of the necessary parts. So our goal is to make it easier to understand what is needed or to use these springs in your blasters, what parts need replaced and converted over between the regular spring types, long shot spring types, and other springs that you may want to use so you can be able to tune your blaster and customize it to however you'd like. So most blasters like the Talonclaw and Caliburn and other home mains were designed to take the K-series springs which are the most common. The K31, the 788, the K25, and the K26 are the most common. In the Talonclaw, these all fit and these are the cut down lengths that are usable in the Talonclaw platform. However, the typical springs, they do work and they give you great performance. There's only four options and the spring ratings are between 5 kilograms, 8 kilograms, 12 and 14 kilograms. And that's usually what they're limited to. In addition, the regular springs, while they do work, they will, over time, maybe about a year, will lose some of that compression ability and they'll become weaker over time. As you can see, a lot of springs will have some pre-compression in them and depending on how they stack, they can actually bend in the plunger tube and that can put excess wear on your spring and actually make the prime feel a little more difficult because the spring is not being compressed smoothly and uniformly. Turf blaster springs are made from a different wire material so they are able to maintain their spring rating for a longer period of time and they don't wear out as often. In addition, the long shot springs are designed with a different overall length in mind and so you have less pre-compression meaning you're not wasting your space with the extra coil so your power is more consistent. The long shot turf springs come in 5, 8, 10, 16 and 18.5 kilograms. So when you combine them with the regular key series, you now have a much wider range of spring performance available from different powers and the different ratings and different loading. So one benefit of using a long shot turf spring is they stack more nicely. When they're compressed, they are wider so they stack evenly and they don't bend in the plunger tube. The Different springs, however, you can tell have a different diameter. Some of the long shot springs have a wider diameter and that's because they're designed to stack. So if I take a, a 10 kg and an 8 kg, they're designed to actually mesh together. The coils are going different directions, which means they stack together and they don't interfere with each other. So you can double up on springs and that makes it so your, your spring total value in your power is actually about 10 plus your 8, which is about 18. However, because of how nicely it stacks, it actually feels lighter than actual 18. And so that's one benefit as well. If you were to stack a K31 and a K25, they don't mesh as nicely. And while it does work, it's about the spring power of about an 18 kilogram. However, it feels lighter, um, but sometimes because they are longer, the coils can mess with each other. Uh, and depending on how your blaster is set up and your preferences on how you're using your blaster, that can interfere with your performance. So the turf blaster springs are designed for a smoother, more reliable performance. As you can see, the springs have different diameters so they can be doubled up inside of each other. Um, the bad thing about that though is they have different sizes and so different size plungers won't fit. So if you look at a default plunger, The default plunger of a talon claw and a uh, U-bolt pup has a wide board in order to accept K25 springs and on the inside it has a smaller board to accept a longer K31 and K26. So both sizes are compatible, a long K31 or a short 788 both fit. However, 
a lot of long shot springs will come in different diameters and they don't fit inside of a normal plunger. So we have a special long shot spring compatible plunger, which the spring sits over the entire plunger. This is compatible to 18.5, the 16, the five, and the eight. However, the 10 will take the regular plunger to fit inside of it. Most long shot springs will fit within this size range. So you should be able to use any long shot aftermarket spring, whether it's from Worker or from, or from some other brand, as long as you have one of the two sizes of springs. Typically, you'll have to look up or know the size of spring to decide which plunger you want to use. However, with both these plungers, you can basically use any spring that exists. The wider springs, a lot of blasters will have some kind of end cap that needs to be widened as well. So, for example, the normal K26 that people enjoy and love so much is such a small diameter that a lot of end caps will not be able to be compatible with a wider long shot spring. So all of our blasters have cross compatibility to accept wider springs as well as default springs. So we have a modified rear cap for the Talon Claw and all of the Bull Pup and the U-Series blasters all have the modified back cap available on Thingiverse or on our website or if you take the wider diameter springs as well as the special back plate with the special plunger or to use a long shot spring rather than just a default setup. Um, and if you want to go to a 18 kilogram, you would just use the regular plunger or a 10 kilogram and a back cap can fit all springs. It just means they'll, they'll have a little more wobble so you can decide if you want to print the wider hole or the more center hole to keep your spring more center depending on how picky you are about the prime. Sometimes the spring, if it doesn't prime smooth all the way back, you'll hear the spring compressing or it won't be as smooth as a prime. So if you're really picky about that, you can just adjust your hole size or your, even your plunger size too if you want to make a custom plunger. A long shot plunger with a eight kilogram spring and a modified rear cap. That hits pretty hard. So that's the 8kg, which is probably in between a 788 and a K25. A K25 is about 12, a 788 is about 8kg, and you can hear the spring hitting the sear because it's a wider spring. So if you also like, you can actually make a custom plunger or a sear, so that way it's a smooth, quiet prime. So that's a 8kg. Now we're going, and if you want to go back to regular size spring, we'll just pop out the plunger the long shot plunger, and we can go back down to a regular Talon Cloud plunger and say we'll go back down to a 788, should be a little less powerful. Slide that in, place the back cap. So that's a little bit slower power, so it's probably more like a 6 or 7 kg, so it's pretty close to 8 kg. But there is the spring swapping between the K-Series and the Turf Blaster Springs, which are a, a stronger coil, they last longer, and they actually give you a smoother prime because of the wider diameter. Turf Blaster Springs also has a K26 spring variant. The K26 is a very popular spring. It's 11 inches long. It's used in most full-length blaster platforms, such as the Caliburn, and the u Caliburn, and others. However, Turf Blaster Springs has made the Pro 26. It has a different wire material, so it lasts longer, it doesn't wear out as fast. The ends are closed, so it will fit and prime more smoothly in most blasters. Because of its length, it will still bend in the middle. However, you can also just cut it down to fit in whatever blaster you want it to be used in. Now we're gonna talk about the differences between the springs. This is the spring lineup for the most common setup for a talon claw, the weakest to strongest. The K31, the 5 kilogram, the 788, the 8, the 10, the K25, K26, 16, to 18.5 kilogram. And these are the performances that you can expect on average based on a default setup. However, your performance will vary depending on your air seal and the other parts and upgrades that you have. But here's a general idea of the performance that you can get from the most recent Talon Claw platform using these springs. So as you can tell, the long shot variety adds a lot more options for you in order to tune your blaster up and down with just swapping out the spring. If you try to get a wide range of numbers with one or two springs, you'll have to mess with your O-ring to play with your air seal, which can be less consistent and less reliable than just switching out your spring. 
So here is a Caliburn with the default K25 spring, a pretty common popular spring. Here's one with the K26. Now if you were to install a Pro 26, easy access. A little bit easier to go from the middle on Caliburn than the back because Talon Claw just has three nuts, but the Caliburn has more bolts and nuts, so it's easier to go from the middle. So take out the old K25. Here's the K26. Now if you wanted to go like super crazy and be able to throw in like a pink one, super crazy. Look at that. As you can tell, the spring is bending in there. It's not a perfect uh, stacking of the spring coils, but it still works just fine. The prime feels a little heavier than a K26, and the spring material is a little heavier than a K26, but it'll also last longer than a regular K26. And as you can see, the air seal is still phenomenal. Now let's look at a performance comparison between a regular K26 and a Pro K26. Here's a regular K26. It's about 200 FPS. Now here's a performance with a Pro 26. It's about 210 feet per second. So if you look at just the numbers, it looks like the Pro 26 hit about 15 FPS more on average, 15 to 20 FPS more than the regular K26. Now these are both brand new springs. The darts are not brand new, but just by looking at this, you can tell the Pro 26 hit about 15 to 20 FPS higher. 